Chronic childhood malnutrition, known as stunting, affects one in five children globally. That's 149 million kids without the right food to grow up strong, and that has lasting effects on their lives. The Power of Nutrition is a nonprofit organization striving to reduce malnutrition in children. If a child grows up and is stunted, they're more likely to have you know, these educational and attainment um, challenges, and then more likely to have a lower paid job having higher purchasing power, having a higher income, um, helps economies because you're able to buy necessities. And it kind of creates this intergenerational cycle of poor nutrition, poor development outcomes. The Power of Nutrition recently published a study that seeks to motivate unlikely allies in the fight against childhood malnutrition, the private sector. The study was really conceived as an advocacy tool for the Power of Nutrition and for other organizations to show companies why investing in community nutrition programs is important. Businesses are drawn to their bottom line and what's going to increase profit. So we thought that this would be a great way to motivate the private sector to invest in nutrition and to see the value in it outside of it just being a moral imperative. But this isn't even just helping people, we wanted to show that it was helping themselves. The Power of Nutrition engaged Dr. Nadia Oxier and her team at Modern Sciences Global as a technical partner for the study. Uh, they came to us and said, look, we really want to know what is the, the cost of that stunting to the private sector in those countries? They could be mobilized to influence nutrition, but they haven't been because nutrition is seen as the government's problem. Initially, the research team sought to analyze longitudinal data from seven low and middle income countries, or LMICs, but Dr. Oxier's team found data sets from multiple sources to push the scope of the study beyond their initial goal. So we had many different types of data sets and then the question was, okay, how do we bring this data together and how do we make sense of it? And it was big data, lots of data, complex data, the data had missingness, they had outliers, they had many different features that we had to take into account before doing analyses. So naturally we thought, let's think of a powerful platform. Um, where we can do this and do it in real time and do it uh, fast. And so we started working with the Cloudera data platform, which really helped us take our analyses to the next level. With the Cloudera data platform, the research scientists were able to perform analysis that simply wasn't possible before. When we started this project, we got a grant to do this for seven to eight countries. With the Cloudera data platform, we were actually able to produce estimates for 128 countries. This suddenly went from a, a small pilot study of a couple of countries in the world to a global initiative. Because of the extensive data analysis, the study was able to report the cost of childhood stunting to the private sector on an industry and country specific basis. They were even able to provide ROI figures showing that in some cases, every dollar invested in fighting childhood stunting would return $34 in lost revenue. At a global level, it accrues to a loss of almost $300 billion annually that private corporations could be making, but they're not making um, because their workforce is malnourished. Finding new allies in the fight against childhood malnutrition is one way data keeps the power of nutrition moving forward.